It's Brian Preston, the money guy. This is from Paul. Paul, thanks for the question. Hey, is a 529 a good idea for a small business owner with kids? Oh, 520. Guys, realize 529s have revolutionized the way you save for college. Back when I first started managing money and doing financial planning, you had educational IRAs, and um, you know you could only do $2,000 a year in them. You had to find, because there weren't a gazillion custodians that wanted to do that. And then 529s came on the scene, and they originally were only for college. You can only use those for college. So you still had a, plan, a decision there. Do you do a an educational IRA for the K through 12, you know, if you send your kids to a, a private school yep. and then use the 529 for college. And then guess what? They have updated the legislation on 529s where now they also can be used K through 12 up to $10,000 a year if the state's adopted that rule. Guys, yes, I don't care if you're a business owner. I don't care if you work for somebody. 529s ought to be a great tool in your financial planning toolbox. The limit, the thing, the only limitation, and Bo, I'll let you kind of take this part of it, is who you work with. Uh, yeah, so th that is a huge limitation because 529s, every single state now will allow you to open up a 529 directly with the state. So you don't have to have an advisor sell you to it. And a lot of states that make this available have a state tax deduction for contributions that you make to it. So you want to go out there and look and say, okay, does my state provide an incentive for me to use my state 529? If they do, there's a good chance you ought to go in that direction. If you happen to live in a state that doesn't have state income tax, a Tennessee, a Texas, a Florida, you can actually look at the entire 529 universe. And just because you use the Alaska plan or the Utah plan or the Nevada plan doesn't mean that you have to send your kids to to school in one of those states, you can send them anywhere in the country. You just get to take advantage of a really good, low-cost 529 provider. There, there is one catch that I think is interesting, though, is states didn't have to just choose one provider. Mm -hmm. A lot of states will have multiple providers. So you do need to be careful is because if you find out you have a state tax deduction, by all means, take advantage of the state tax deduction. But be careful to look at all of your plan options within the state yep. because some might be very high advisor focused yep. on their expenses. And then some might be very low cost. And you that's why I would go use a resource resource like savingforcollege.com yep. or other things like that. So you can kind of get a, a real play by play. And then we always do a show. We typically do a show once a year, once Morningstar comes out sure. with their rankings on what the gold plans, the silver plans, and the bronze plans are. I, I think there's no one in the world better at answering a two-second question with a long answer than you and I, because I got to add one thing to it okay. that I don't think we mentioned. Because he said, you know, is saving for a 529 for a small business owner a good idea? Yes, but you got to make sure you're doing it in the right order. That's true. Because one of the things that we see all the time is parents. We want to provide for our kids. We want to make their life better than ours. What you can't do is sacrifice your retirement, your financial independence building for the sake of building up college for your kids. Because when your kid gets to college, there's going to be a plethora of resources out there available for he or she to borrow money. Or when get you, scholarships. Or get scholarships. or get When you get to retirement... There is no retirement scholarship. So you want to make sure, just like when you're on the airplane, you got to put the oxygen mask on yourself first, and then you put on the kid. Building wealth is the same way. Make sure you're doing the things you're supposed to be doing. Emergency reserves, saving 20 25%, building your financial pot of assets before you start saving for junior. That sounds like something. That's called respect the foo, guys. The financial it. order of it. operations. Everything Bo just said, we talk about constantly Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Respect the foo. That financial order of operations will not fail you in that.